Welcome back to the Garden of Enders, guys. Wanted to share with you a little bit today of uh, what we're going to do to kind of get this season going. Um, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, and it's just everyday work around the garden that uh, a lot of people put off and, uh, and then gets overwhelmed. Well, guess what? We're at the point where it's overwhelming. So I'll show you guys we're going to clean up, get things going, pull some weeds, and uh, get things hardwood mulched. And uh, let's check it out. This is our asparagus bed and it is completely overrun. The asparagus has been eaten up by asparagus beetles. We got a treat, we got a trim. We got to get it back so that way we don't lose our wonderful asparagus. This is the first year we had asparagus, we let it go to fern. I probably could have cut a little bit more off of it. So some of these bigger pieces I'll be trimming out. But really just, and we're going to get rid of this. We're, this is coming out, we'll put some uh, rope around it so it pulls it back up and stands it up straight. Um, this was because our lovely dog, Millie, one of the two, there she is, the culprit, that one. was eating our asparagus before we got to eat it. So actually, Millie was the very first of the family to try the asparagus. I think two years in a row. Such a brat. Um, anyways, and over here, I pulled back some to kind of give you an idea. We've got our spinach in here and uh, yeah. It's hard to tell what is spinach and what is not, right? That's so that is New Zealand spinach. And that then is not. We, yes, correct. <laughs> we've got some cilantro, some other things that are growing in here. But then we've also got some red Malabar. I love red Malabar. I know a lot of you um, don't. It's uh, definitely more uh, slimy or thicker um, and meatier, I guess you could say, of a spinach. But I think that's why I love it. I just love that really strong spinach flavor. So. Uh, yes, yeah, so that needs to get cleaned out. We also got a weed in here with our collards. Look at those collards. We got them covered this year. The squirrels are not eating our collards. We are so happy. So, so, so happy. Over here, this all has to get weeded out. Most of this is not weed. It's hard to tell what is unless you know. This is weed. Yep. However, this is not. This is chamomile. So eventually it will sprout all the stuff that looks Almost furnish, um, if you will, is um, yeah. is chamomile, and everything else is weed. So it will get fixed. The lemon balm, oh my gosh, don't even get me started. That thing is a tree. My wife swears she cut it back. I have. I'm gonna show her. I have I, twice. <laughs> I'm gonna show her how I cut it back though, and we're gonna see the difference. No, well, okay. But challenge accepted. Sir. Right. More. Uh, this is just spinach, and then we had some volunteer chamomile, of which is sprouting over that here. We have made its way over. Um, yeah, so we have some lettuce. This is more of a volunteer bed. Um, we do have some sorrel that's come in. It absolutely looks gorgeous. It is starting to get big. We've got it in so quite a, pretty. Quite a few spots. This is so good for you. Yeah. Um, super, super excited. Uh, another little one there. We've got another little one over here. Another one right here. It's a very slow growing. Uh, another one right here. Um, but anyways, so we will get these beds cleaned up and then once everything grows up just a little bit more, it'll all get hardwood mulch. Uh, I'm a big fan of hardwood mulch. I think it's super great. Uh, it holds in the moisture. Uh, it helps with some of the weeds that pop up all around. Just a really good uh, top dressing for your garden. So while Matt is picking sticks up out of the yard, we had a really bad storm last night that through all kinds of debris in the yard. I'm gonna to talk to you about our peach trees because we have not seen you since we covered our peach trees with some bird netting to keep the birds away from our gorgeous peaches here. We do have some sort of creepy crawly um, is getting into some of our peaches, so we are gonna treat our peaches, but this netting um, has already, I know it's safe peaches. I've seen so many like little finches and stuff sitting here trying to trying to get to my peaches and I just sit there and watch them and I'm, I'm just like, nope, not today. Fly on, little birdie. Oh. A quick little snack. Hey. Yes. Hey. What? Why are you so stinking cute? 
<laughs> yeah. You. Your brother too, but he's inside napping. Why are you so cute? Um, there's a um dice hall um um back um a back and 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 the flower plants and we saw the big thing that I stepped. Mm-hmm. And what, a race what, snake. It was a blue racer snake. Yeah. Yeah. Was it a big snake? Yeah, like this old. And it was right over here. Yeah, it was that, and he stumbled with his head, and and he um, stumbled with his head, and they looked down, and he said the bad word, oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy said a bad word? Yeah, dang it. But yeah, he said dang it? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Bad dad. Yeah, Daddy That's didn't want to kill the snake. It was caught in the wa in the bird netting. Yeah, and, and he couldn't get it out because razor snakes are not poisonous. So, with all the field and everything, it helps keep the mice away. But Daddy tried; it was unsuccessful. So, unfortunately, mm -hmm. it resulted in a dead snake. Yeah, because yeah. I didn't want to get bit trying to mess with his head. Hey, MJ, what are these? Potatoes. Tomatoes. 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 Our first tomato. And they're growing up. And this one's bigger. Yeah. And that one's smaller a little bit. Okay. But that one's bigger, I guess. Hey, MJ, do you like to be in the garden? Yeah, I do. Yeah? Do you like to eat food out of the garden? Yeah. What's your favorite thing to eat out of the garden? Um, I love to eat strawberries. The strawberries at the <laughs> strawberry bed? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I know you do. All right. So the main garden is we we keep it pretty good on on the weeds, um, so we don't really have too much trouble. But this is what I mean by your hardwood mulch. So in case you guys are wondering, like, what is he talking about? Like regular mulch? No, it's it's a hardwood mulch. It's basically just pieces of tree and sticks and everything ground up, uh, and then they bag it. So it's not colored. It's not dyed. Um, it's not. Uh, pine chips uh, or cypress it, it literally is called hardwood mulch and you can get it at your local box store so that's what we'll be doing to the entire garden um, as you can see the plants are getting big that's another video though we will go through and talk about it so as you can see we've got a lot of work and the sun is going down and I've also got to get two steaks on the grill so um, we will see you guys again and we will show you the finished product uh, as we get it done um, but thank you so much and we are going to be trying to get back into this i know we've said that many times and we keep promising you guys videos regularly uh, with the family growing and just things going on and getting back to work and and being uh, crazy hours that i have it's just been uh it's been tough so things are getting done we just forget to grab the camera and share it with you guys so we're going to get back into it. Thank you guys again. Stay tuned. If you like this video, we love you. Hit that subscribe button. We love you even more. Um, and we will make another video soon, won't we? Yeah. Say bye. Bye.